Hello everyone, today this is me, Glygar13bits, and I'm going to do a commentary on a certain YouTube user who is pretty popular and is also a fanboy. If you don't know, PC fanboys are some of the most annoying fanboys because they basically ignore logic and are praising about how PC is so much better than those consoles controlled by evil corporations, even though ironically they are using Microsoft Windows. So all in all, this is basically by a pretty popular person who's known as Blackbuster Critic. If you don't know who he is, he basically used to be a person who owned Sonic Fanboys, and then eventually stuff happened, and now his videos are kind of fanboyish like this one. But let's just start the video, shall we? Console Fanboys, they fear the PC. I don't know much about fear, if anything, they're probably kind of annoyed at all how the fanboys are like, Oh my god, we're PC and we're better. You know why the My Little Pony fanbase and the furry fanbase are so hated? They are just completely fearful of something that could take one of their favorite hobbies and turn it into an experience like none other. <sighs> but one thing these console fanboys say is that PC fanboys are the worst. Like I said, that's because they show themselves off like, we're PC, we're better because we say PC and so we're better. Now, let's just take those two words, PC fanboy. And let's break it down. Being a fanboy is something that's supposed to be bad, right? Hmm. Apparently, according to Urban Dictionary, fanboy means a person willing to defend and promote an object of his infection, regardless of fact and objectivity. Hmm. That sounds a lot like the person we're watching here. Keep this in mind, viewers, as he's going to do this a lot. But PC stands for personal... Computer. Personal computer. Why is it bad to be a fanboy of your own personal computer? Two things. First off, personal computer usually means smaller types of computers that anyone can own and use, you know. Just look at those big computers they used to show in the movies or that every old that are in museums now. Just look at those. Second, with consoles, why would you be a fanboy of your own console that you bought from a store for so much? I'm sorry, your logic's not getting to me. Just please try harder. Where you make the decisions, not the companies. Keep what he says in mind here because he's going to mess up later on. See, that's one thing console fanboys just don't understand. Is that on the PC, you make your own experience. You make your own personal experience. Now, what are the things that we can manipulate on the PC? The graphics? The sound? The only reason why they're there is to make it max out on extremely expensive computers. If you don't have top of the line, you're going to have to cut settings down. I mean, just look at all the people who play COD 4 on their Intel graphics. They're not always good for consumers. How many games we want? How many games we can... We have so many options of where we can get games from. I have over 300 games on my PC. 275 are from Steam alone. I've got games from direct to drive I've got them from... Games for Windows Live, when they had them on sale. I got them from Impulse. I got them from Desura. I've got them from, uh... There was a couple other places as well. But it's your choice where you want to get your games from. If you don't want to use Steam, you have other options. You have Gamersgate. Just download and install the game if you want. You got Amazon.com. Download the game and install it. GameStop. Walmart. Best Buy. Target, um, Micro Center, Kmart, Sears. I can buy console games from there, so what are you trying to get at? And not only that, but 
some of those PC game stores, when you buy using other stores like Directy Drive, sometimes they'll actually make you just give you a Steam key, which is kind of like, you know, just as bad as what consoles do, according to you. You have choices. You, the gamer, can make your personal experience. If you want to be able to render videos, chat on Skype, and play a game at the same time, like I can, you can do that. And then, watch as your frame rate dips because you have to do all that other stuff at once. I mean, a lot of those programs are bloated, so when you're trying to game at once, guess what your frame rate does? <laughs> Went from 60 to 20 to 30 and maybe lower. I mean, just imagine COD 4 running really crappy because you were trying to render a video and Skype at the same time. And plus, 360 does have party chat. PS3 doesn't, but that's because of stupid system limitations. The Vita does, though. Video chat, by the way. Can you do it on the consoles? No, you can't. I should have explained the difference between a console and a PC. And it's not just the games. It is not just well, the companies that own them. The biggest difference is that the consoles, these things here... And I'm not ragging on the Wii, I love the Wii. But these are in control by the companies. Oh wait, so one minute you're talking about how the online is supposedly better, and then next minute you change to about how those evil corporations are in control. You are aware Valve is owned by Steam, and Microsoft Windows is owned by um, Microsoft. If you're really against big corporations, then why don't you just ditch Windows and use Linux, because... If you're so for free software and that stuff, why don't you just go to Linux? I mean, it's free and you could download it and become one of those people. They own the hardware? In other words, you pay $200 just for it to be owned by the companies. Um, okay, this is not a cell phone. I'm sorry, but your point's kind of invalid. And plus, you can always be like this guy and you can mod your console. I mean... If you really want to do stuff, you can just mod your console and you can just be like, you can stop having to worry about those evil corporations. Evil corporations. They own the software. Well, no, duh. They also own the code on the disc. I mean, why is there that copyright thing on the package? And you have no choice in the matter if they want to shut your console off. You've seen Microsoft do it. You know, the only time I've seen Microsoft do it is with those dev kits, you know. Those expensive 360s that are only meant to be owned by developers and not by little kids on the internet trying to snag a Sonic 4 beta. I mean, that's the only time they've bricked consoles, and even then, those are the only ones which are technically owned by Microsoft. You've seen Sony do it. Nope, haven't seen Sony do it either. Nintendo, not so much. But they have control of that their console at any given time as long as you're connected to the internet. You've seen Sony take away your features. You've seen Valve drop features in Steam versions. You've seen them take away features from hardware versions. I mean, the PS2 backwards compatibility was a hardware feature and I can still play them on my 20 gig PS3 and you know what? Who used other OS? Be honest. I know, I'm not trying to be a fanboy, but who used it? Haven't you? You see Microsoft put ads on your dashboard! Anyone who's used Steam knows about those ads that pop out when you quit a game. Don't you love when you quit a game or load up Steam and it says, Buy our crap today. It's no longer a gaming console, people! It's an Adbox 360! That's what it is! Preload this game today on Steam, and by the way, buy this game, because it's probably on sale. You have no choice in the matter. You turn your Xbox 360 on, you're going to see Mazda commercials. You're going to see McDonald's commercials. Meanwhile, back on Steam. They even take your games, and... Lock them away if you don't pay for Xbox Live. 
Meanwhile, in the glorious world of Steam, people have bought lots of games and then they get locked out of them because Valve decided to. I mean, seriously, go on Google and search Steam Locked Out. So many people get locked out of their games. No, you don't get any multiplayer. You don't have the option of using private dedicated servers owned by gamers. You don't have the option to LAN party. You don't. On Xbox 360, if you are not connected to Xbox Live, you can't even use an offline feature like LAN Party. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just too priceless. First off, I have to clear up two things. First, all you need is an offline profile on a 360 to system link, not gold. You can even do it with a silver account, or if you're disconnected from live. Second off, you don't even need live to do System Link. Xbox Live got shut down for the original Xbox in 2010, and people are still playing via System Link on Xlink Kai. Third, the only thing even related to what you're talking about is the 30 MS ping limit, and that only applies to land tunnelers. And even then, if you have a JTAG, which is what all the cool kids have, you can get past that, so it doesn't really matter anyway for you if you're really like, OMG, companies are trying to screw me over, I'm gonna pirate everything. If you're like that, you probably already have it. On the PC, your personal computer. Freedom. Freedom rings. And you guys are saying it's bad to be a fanboy of a personal computer. It's bad to be a fanboy of anything. And besides, PC fanboys can be annoying too, like Apple fanboys can. Apple's better than Windows! Oh my god, get a Mac now! Actually, it kind of is bad to be a fanboy of something, like a personal computer. Personal computer. That's like saying you can't be a fan of your own work. <laughs> how is a PC your own work? Sure, sometimes people build their PCs, but look how many people go to Walmart and buy a desktop PC like an HP or a Dell or an Acer. You can't admire your own work. We're not defending the companies when we say PC. When you guys say PC fanboys, are you guys saying a certain company? No! <laughs> You're not! You're saying PC, personal computer! Here's a little secret. When people mean PC, usually they mean Windows. Guess who owns Windows? Microsoft! Steam. Guess who owns Steam? Valve! Both are companies. If you really hate companies so bad, why don't you use the Linux? There's Ubuntu, Mint, all those other versions. And then if you're so afraid of companies making games I have to pay for, why don't you go to open source gaming? You'd probably like it. When we said PS3 fanboy, Sony, Microsoft fanboy, Microsoft, 360 fanboy I should say, Microsoft. We fanboy Nintendo, which isn't very bad, even though the Wii hasn't really had that many games come out recently. It has a great one like Skyward Sword, but there aren't that many coming out, you know, that you really need to get. But there's a difference, guys, between a console fanboy and a PC fanboy. From what I've seen, they're more self-righteous and annoying. Yeah, I think I made that very clear in this video. But I'm going to repeat it one last time because you console fanboys are some of the dumbest people I have ever come across on the internet. So for the last time, PC fanboy. Uh, yes, I am a fan of my own personal computer, where I create my own experiences, where I dictate what I can do. For most of this video, I didn't see any of that. Mostly just evil corporations and um, the online sucks. You gotta pay for it on Xbox. On the other hand, console fanboy. Hey, 
I like it when Sony takes away my features. Like I said, the only feature that was really removed was other OS. PS2 backwards compatibility and the other stuff were removed in hardware revisions. Guess what? The PC's done the same thing too. Just look for the serial port on that new computer you bought at Best Buy. I like dishing out $60 a year just to play my games online. <laughs> I like having no exclusives. <laughs> I like all my games being dedicated to Connect. And this is coming from a person who defends the Wii. How do you like having Wii motion controls in every game, huh? I mean, logic can come back at you, you know. I'm just saying. I like having substandard online experience. Meanwhile, in the glorious land of Steam, no network connection could be made to the Steam servers. And by the way, let's not forget the community on Steam is even worse than on the Xbox, which everyone trashes his full little kids. With Steam, you have pony facts, and let's not get into those. Especially when they run into your server spraying clop pictures in your server, and you can't ban them because there's too many of them, like AIDS. So, being a PC fanboy is a good thing. And now, any fanboys, goodbye, gamers, Logic. Wise up. And please, by all means, call me a PC fanboy. BBC doesn't care, and any other PC enthusiast will not care. By calling us a PC fanboy, you're saying that we are fanboys of ourselves. In other words, like that UD definition, you're so obsessed with it that you'll ignore logic. In other words, yep, you're basically a fanboy. Have a good day. No, 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 no! I can't play! No, no, no! PC is not right! PC is not right! Blackbuster Critic, bad! Bad Blackbuster Critic! Plus three! Xbox Live! Gotta pay for my life! Gotta play my games! Online! Call of Duty! Call of Duty! Precious! Just to let you know, that last part I did not make up. This is seriously what his fanboys find funny. Anyways, that is how not to make a fanboy video. Please, don't use fail logic and misinformation or else you'll just utterly fail. And as for PC fanboys, you're just as bad as the ones you hate. You're about as bad as Pyro 2000X, MLD, Black Bond, all those other people who are just hardcore fanboys. You're just as bad as them. I I'm being serious. You're just as bad as them. Look at yourselves in the mirror, guys. As to BBC's fanboys, since I'm guessing they're going to look this video up, pass it to BBC, get his friend, get their friends to rage on it and stuff. Go ahead, rage on me. Make a commentary on this. I'll personally laugh at your fanboyism and how much of a fanboy you are because when you make a commentary, especially one that is just like, oh my god, you don't like this, that just shows you're a fanboy. All in all, thanks for watching and subscribe for some more videos. Maybe some more Onage videos too. On, you know, you know what I'm talking about.